I love it when the pavement ends. See that dot right there? That's the moon. And this is me. And there's a river. And today, I'm climbing up to almost 12,000 feet, the highest point on the Great Divide route, Indiana Pass. And I'm psyched. <laughs> this onto my bike every day on this trip. This is the bear spray. You know how much this cost? I bought this in Montana. It was like $45. Luckily I haven't seen any bears. Check out what I have. Green tortillas. Are they healthier than the white tortillas? Maybe a teeny bit. I also have the natural version of Nutella and check it out chunks of cha-cha chia <laughs> it was nice going to the natural grocers in salida they have actually some healthy ish food so my breakfast is going to be the breakfast of champions and it's sunday you gotta have a good breakfast on a sunday right look at this work of art yummy some people do sunrise yoga I do sunrise shaving. Mm. It is a beautiful Sunday in Del Norte. I slept really well and I'm excited to climb. Go up and up and up. But before that happens, <clears throat> excuse me, gotta clear my throat. No crashies, no flatties, and definitely no whammies, let's do it. I am at about 7,800 feet above sea level right now, going up to almost 12,000, so 4,000 feet of up. <laughs> I think it's gonna take a long time. I've heard the climb is like 20 miles or something. That's all right, because you know why? I have nothing else to do today but ride my bike. beautiful desert area but in a couple hours few hours when I get on top of this pass it is not gonna be desert it's gonna be high alpine and that's one of the things I've really loved about this route is that the landscape changes all the time from day to day and sometimes from hour to hour Good morning cows Look, dirt, my happy place. So the past 10 miles on the pavement has been a gradual uphill. I've gone up a thousand feet, but now that we hit the dirt, things are gonna change. It's time to go up, up, <laughs> a lot steeper. I'm looking at my elevation profile. Yeah, looks like a, looks like a roller coaster. You know, I've always enjoyed going uphill. And it doesn't matter if I'm riding a bike or running. Going uphill has always been my strong point. I've often said that I'd rather ride up and down steep mountains all day than ride flat roads. And you go nice and slow and you can hear your heart beating. You can hear the birds chirping. This really is the perfect speed. I'm going 3.7 miles per hour. <laughs> <laughs> and it's a nice way to spend this 
chill Sunday morning. I have now climbed 2,000 feet and I'm being treated to a nice downhill for a little bit. I know it's gonna go back up, but right now, a little break and I've done 15 miles so far. Lots more to go, probably 15 more miles of up. I love the aspens, especially in the fall. They all turn bright yellow. The elevation profile on my computer still looks pretty mean. <laughs> Whew. We're getting there, 20 miles into the climb. I'm now at 11,000 feet. In case you're curious, it's been about between a five and 9% grade this entire time. Pretty mild, nothing crazy steep, but it keeps your heart going, keeps your legs churning. So I don't know where the top of this pass is. I keep on thinking I'm at the highest point, but I haven't seen a sign saying, you're at the top, congratulations. Then it goes down, then it goes up, then it goes down, then it goes up. I've already ridden 30 miles. Maybe there just isn't a sign, which would be such a shame. We'll see, we got a little bit more up here. It is so beautiful up here. The sun has popped out. We have that glorious Colorado blue sky, puffy clouds, and the greens just seem so vibrant and green. Wow, it is a great day to be biking up this mountain. Right now I'm at about 11.5. The pass is at 11.9 and I think that was back there. So I'm gonna call it good. Woo! -hoo! The high point of the Great Divide mountain bike route and it is so beautiful. I think this calls for a little happy dance. Oh yeah, baby. It's hard to dance at high altitude when your legs are tired. There's not much oxygen up here. Whew. Hello there. Now it is time for some real talk. And I thought this would be a great spot since it is the high point of the entire Great Divide trip, high point in altitude. 
But uh, today will be my last day riding the Great Divide. And the reason is, is because I'm pretty much at the southern end of Colorado and New Mexico has instituted a very strict policy for all travelers entering the state. They're saying that everybody needs to quarantine for 14 days. And that's not something that I want to do. And I'm gonna respect their request. Could I get away with it and hide out? Probably 100%. But uh, I wanna respect their rules. You know, they're having a big problem with COVID right now especially on the native reservations and they're taking this seriously and they should this pandemic has killed a lot of people as of right now over 150,000 americans have died and uh i just don't i just don't want to push it you know that would be bad karma if i went into new mexico knowingly blatantly disregarding their request That'd be bad karma for sure. And that'd be whammies every day. <laughs> that'd be whammy mania. So this is it. I'm going to end it here. I'm going to ride south to a town called Platoro. And my good friend Larkin is going to pick me up and take me back to Boulder. Am I sad? Am I bummed out? Not really. I'm kind of at peace with it. I made this decision about four days ago. And just like in life... Things don't always turn out the way you want them to. Adventures don't always turn out the way you had hoped and dreamed. I had been dreaming of completing this ride for about 10 years and I've been planning seriously for the past four months, but it's just not meant to be. But the good news is New Mexico isn't going anywhere. I can come back another day and do it. And this ride has been absolutely incredible. Everything I ever wanted and more the landscapes, the beauty, the people we've met along the way. Wow, the people are the best part by far. So many wonderful people everywhere, every little town. Got to see so many beautiful small towns all over this route. And uh, I got to ride with John and Mira. I wanna give them a big thanks for making the effort to come out and ride with me. It was so much fun. I got to know them a lot better. That dog is something special. I got to ride with Kevin and really got to know him better, which was so much fun. His attitude was definitely appreciated. And Dana, Dana was here for a little bit, so it just felt like a parade of friends the whole way down the divide. And I feel so fortunate and, and full of gratitude. And I said this at the very beginning. I got to do this for a whole month. I got to be on the road for a whole month, sleeping under the stars, breathing fresh air camping in beautiful locations, eating really good diner food, uh, lots of beans and tortillas and all sorts of other good things and laughs and smiles and rainbows and sunsets and uh, thunderstorms, a little bit of everything in this past month. And uh, I'm, my heart is very full right now. My heart and soul are very happy. And I'd like to give a huge thanks to Priority Bicycles for helping to make this dream happen. They were instrumental. We've been developing this bike right here for the past few months specifically for this adventure and it worked flawlessly. Um, we're going to go into production with this bike in the next few months and I will link below some information about it but this thing is top notch. The Gates carbon drive, the pinion gearbox, everything worked <laughs> so well and I always had to smile and laugh when John and Kevin had to lube their chains and mess with their derailleurs. I was like, ha ha, <laughs> I don't have to do that. Oh, so here I am smiling in a field on top of a divide, on top of a pass here in Colorado. It's a beautiful Sunday and I'm gonna be going home happy and fulfilled and I can't wait to share all of this with you. Thank you so much for joining this, for joining this adventure, for joining all my other adventures, for being part of this channel. I love this community. You guys are all awesome, and I hope you're out there challenging yourselves in your own ways. Please like and subscribe. Share these videos with as many people as possible. That really helps me. If you have the ability, please join my Patreon. And, wow. I'll see you down the road, you know what I'm saying? That's the only way to go, down the road. 
keep going forward, always. I'm finishing this ride solo, but I'm not alone. You're all with me. Oh, what a beautiful day! Woo! Yes! I think of you every step of the way. I think about what you might want to see and what might inspire you. <laughs> My eyes are your eyes. My heart is your heart. I know this sounds crazy, but I truly feel like I'm riding with the team when I'm out here. You comfort me in a downpour, and I feel your excitement when I'm admiring the magic of Mother Nature. Now that is a miracle. Oh my God, this is so cool. I truly hope that you've been inspired in some way. That's my number one goal with this channel, to be of service to this worldwide community. I learn more about myself with every adventure. Each experience cracks me open in a different way, and I feel like my heart has more capacity to love and appreciate the world around me. Are you seeing this? It's a double rainbow! Every day is filled with new discoveries, and my mind wanders in all the best ways. And this is what inspires me to keep moving forward. With every trip I take, I fall more in love with my country. I'm a proud American, and I'm so grateful to have been born and raised here. We're in Colorado, we're in Colorado, oh yeah. One of my goals when I document these trips is to help you better understand us, and for us to better understand each other. I hope that you gain a more positive outlook than what you see on the news. Yeah! <laughs> there may be a great divide among us, but we can do something about it, and it's simple. Love. We have to lead with love. We like to think that we have four acres of love right here and kindness, mm -hmm. and we just hope that uh, any of that love and kindness would just spread out into the world. So that's, what, that's why, that's we, why do we do this. Now, if I've done my job right after 24 of these episodes and hundreds of other videos, you've gotten off that couch and challenged yourself. And if you haven't, now is your time. Yeah, it'll be scary. It'll be hard. Your legs will burn, but you'll love it. I promise. And think of all that delicious ice cream and burritos that you'll eat along the way. Oh, John, I have our beans. It's been an absolute honor to share my heart and soul with you as this story has unfolded. And I'm so thankful that you watch these videos. I just want to reach through the screen and hug all of you. Now, I'm not sure what will come next, but you better believe that I'm dreaming and planning. It's a big, beautiful world out there, and I want to experience as much as I can, and of course, share the magic with you. And finally, here's a montage of the true star of the show, the one and only Mira. Yeah, can I have a hug? Yeah, give me a hug, buddy. Those are some great sticks, buddy. Yeah, those are great sticks. Good to see you, bud. You're doing great. Yeah. Is it time to play fetch? Go get it! It's my beans. Yummy. <laughs> Look at her lick at her lips. It's what we do at the end of the day. Hey, get out of my shot. Hey, you. Hey. Ready? Go get it. Look at this. That little baby mirror. <laughs> there you are. Oh, good way to start the day. Look who's up and ready. Good morning, Mira. Good morning. You panting? That's what I'm doing, too. What are you doing bouncing around in there? <laughs> so many people around the world love you. Is it because you're sweet? Is that why they love you? Because you're a little bit goofy? Because you're good looking? A mix of everything? Woohoo! Yes! I did it! I did it! <laughs> oh man, I feel so good right now. You want to know why? because I just finished editing this entire series. I thought it would never end. It takes a long time to put all of this together. To put it in perspective, I got home on August 14th. Today is November 14th, so that's like three months exactly, working five days a week to put all this 
onto the YouTubes. And I'm really proud of it. I really, really like how it turned out. And it seems like, judging from your comments, that you have really enjoyed it too. And that's the best part. That's what I call the emotional paycheck. When you write me comments saying that you enjoy the videos and they're inspiring you and you've gotten on your bikes and you've challenged yourselves in some way, shape or form, that makes me really, really happy. So thank you all for watching this, for watching all the other videos on my channel. Please help me out by sharing these with all of your friends and uncles and aunts and uh, just put it everywhere. I'd really appreciate that. And uh, like I said, I don't know what's coming next, but I'm always dreaming about something. And uh, here's that hug I was talking about. I'm coming in there. I'm coming to give you a big hug. Ah! <laughs> See you guys later.